Hey guys, Skill Out Noodle here. In this video, I wanted to break down how I created this retro Christmas ad for my concept spaceship, the Mercedes Centurion. I'm going to go into how I made the ship, the environment, the landing animation, and how I gave it that retro feeling. I grabbed references from Google Images of old Mercedes cars from the 40s. I wanted that bold, glossy look with curvy edges and clean details, and also grabbed some sci-fi concept art and went forward designing with these images to give me inspiration. I started off creating my concept ship by blocking out some basic shapes. I may be showing a final, nice feeling ship, but do note I spent a lot of time on this phase. The rest of the process will be affected by the initial shaping and concepting, more than the detail phase. Using the solidify modifier, I added some thickness to the wings, and then added a subdivision around the shape off to stick with the curvy, luxurious style feel. Moving on to the secondary details, which are the shapes that break down our main form, I began by using a retopology technique. I used a snapping tool set to face project to trace details onto the ship, like the trim of the cockpit's window. Another technique I also used was using an edge split, solidify, and bevel on the main body of the ship to add plate lines, simply by marking edges sharp. This allowed me to add my final stage of details to the ship exterior in a quick and easy way. To add another level of complexity to the ship, I also wanted a visible cockpit. I created it by adding a bevel on the inner part of the cockpit hood and modeling a low poly interior. I modeled some controls, a luxury seat, and some panels along the wall. As for the materials for the ship, I just used basic materials with no textures. Just by messing with the roughness, color, and metallic channels, I was able to give that clean new car or spaceship look. Now with the Mercedes Centurion completed, I needed to create a snowy manor scene to place it into. There's not as much to go over with the environment, as due to having the release this in time for Christmas, I relied heavily on assets to put it together. I downloaded some building pieces and snow assets from Quixel, and I modeled a simple circle driveway putting a snowy road texture on it to place my snow assets to fill the ground out and around the manor. Some other techniques I used was placing a plane with a sky texture behind the scene, and I also used some cubes with ballroom texture slapped on to create a building interior. For the animation, I parented all the objects to the main body and started by creating a simple landing animation. This is like our base layer. The next step was animating the individual elements on the ship. I animated the legs retracting outward and pushing to the ground, and the wings raising up to a landing position. I toyed around with the graph editor, and they smoothed everything out by playing with the curves. I also imported a VDB file, which added some super detailed pre-made smoke that acted as snow dust blowing away from the ship. I rendered this in separately, basically using my base layers as a mask, and then just placing it over as another layer so that I can modify it in compositing. The animation was definitely on the more simple side, but I think it actually came out with a pretty nice result. Now on to the final step where I actually put the commercial together was compositing. For compositing the scene, I wanted to get the old feel as much as possible, like an ad from the 80s playing on a VHS tape. I first added a film grain layer, just to help the piece feel like it wasn't shot digitally. And after that I used a few different techniques to achieve the VHS feel. Some blurring and sharpening to downgrade the quality, a light chromatic aberration across the footage, and some glitches to make the footage feel aged. And for the last part I added some text in the Mercedes logo. Well, I also added this little snazzy animation on the text, just being a mask, a solid white glowing line, and a lens flare animated to reveal the text in an epic way. After exporting my final composition, my fake retro Mercedes commercial was complete. Let me know what you'd like to see next time, and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.